Hello everyone. Welcome back to Final Fantasy 7. Let's get back into this. Been quite a bit of time since quite a bit of time since I last recorded this. <clears throat> Cloud, wasn't it? It's about Eris, isn't it? Sorry, the Sinra and Shinra. I know. They took her from here. They were here. That's what Eris wanted. Why? Why is Shinra after Eris? Eris is an agent, the sole survivor. What did you say? But are you her mother? No. Her real mother must have been 13 years ago. During the war, my husband was sent to the front. Some faraway place called Wuta. One day, I went to the station because I got a letter saying he was coming home on leave. Let's speed this up. Big huge fat guy like that. My husband never came back. I wonder if something had happened to him. No, I'm sure this his leave was just cancelled. I went to the station every day. Then one day. Shinra guard right there isn't doing anything. How's that Shinra, Shinra guard right there? By the train. You used to see this sort of thing a lot during the war. Her last words were, please stay heiress somewhere safe. My husband never came back. I had no child. I was lonely, so I decided to take her home with me. Eris and I became close very quickly. I try to love to talk. She used to talk to me about everything. I mean how she escaped from some kind of resource laboratory and that her mother had already returned the planet and that she was alone and many other things. Please don't stop going so fast, game. Return to the planet! I didn't know what she meant. As if she meant a star, a star in the sky. She said it was this planet. She was a very mysterious child in many ways. Ma'am. Fast forward. He's okay. He's okay. He okay? Yes, just blur that out. All of a sudden, when I asked her if something happened. I went there because he just, has, just died. His spirit was coming to see you, but he's already turned to the planet. At that time, I didn't believe her. But, several days later, I we received a notice saying my husband died. And it, that was it. A lot has happened. Had happened. We were happy until one day. We we want you to return your s to us. We've been searching for her a long time. No, Iris. You're, Iris, you're a very special child. You are of special blood. Your mother was an agent. At that 
moment, I found out she was agent. The agents will lead us to the land of ha supreme happiness. There she'll be able to bring happiness to all those in the slum. That's right, Shinra would like Eris' cooperation. It's wrong. I'm not an agent, yeah. But Eris, surely you hear voices sometimes when you're all alone. No, I don't. That's what we're doing. But I knew. I knew there was. I knew about her mysterious powers. She tried so hard to hide it. So I did as though I never know us. Amazing how she's avoided the Shinra for all these years. The Shinra need her, so I guess they won't uh, wouldn't harm her. But why about now? I mean, but why now? She brought a little girl here with her. Sin Shin. I forgot how you pronounce her name. After I last looked that up. T Sin. Tesson. Oh yeah, Tesson. Was that what it was? And, uh, this I found them on their way here. Here. She probably wasn't fast enough to get away. She decided to go to Shinra in exchange for the little girl's safety. Marlene. Marlene! It was captured because of Marlene! I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. You're her father. How in the world could he ever leave a child alone like that? Please don't start with that. I mean, please don't start with that. I'm always thinking about that. What, what, what happens to Marlene if I... But... You gotta understand something. I don't got any answers. I want to be with Marlene, but I gotta fight. Because if I don't... The plant's gonna die. So, I'm gonna keep on it. Inside. I need some water. Ah. Inside. Ah. I'm already thinking of her. I just wanna be with her. Always. See? I'm going through this now. I think I know what you mean. She's upstairs, sleeping. Asleep. Why don't you go see her? It's my fault. I was wondering if you got involved in this. I say that. Ayers doesn't think so. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you're alright. Hey! No way! My face hurt! Clown! You got Nigel Barris, right? Yeah, you know, um. So much. Uh, I didn't read that fast enough. Shepard's involved, I say you're coming to. That's what, guess what? Harris asked me a lot of questions. That person was coming, I should Oh no. Oh, that's up so. <laughs> I want that, Tifa. <laughs> Can I sleep in the bed? No, I don't really sleep in the bed. We're not theorists, right? Yeah. I'm coming with you. We're going to Ranger Center headquarters. You gotta be prepared for the worst. I know. I know. I feel I have to push myself to the limit. I stay here. I'll go crazy. Sorry, but can you take care of Molly a little bit longer? Yes, I don't mind. This place is dangerous now, but you better, you better go somewhere else. You're right. Promise me that you'll come back to her. Don't get yourself killed. Yay. Talking tradition done. Oh. How do we get to the building? There's no train that goes up there anymore. Hmm. Well, let's go to Walmart. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the Walmart. We <laughs> something we can find there. Okay. Let's go set my interior up. I got.
Where's that sentiment you're at? Oh, it's on him. Oh, just everything's good for now. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, fight! Oh, it's the evil house! What did I steal from this? Cross me! Wavy hands, let's see. I love this battle theme. Kind of one of the most iconic battle themes in Final Fantasy. Now, house level one. I love it. It's almost dead. I kind of think Tifa's the worst character in the game. She's, um, weak. I mean, she's, all her land lane breaks are multi multi hits. Which early on is kind of bad. They don't hit for a very high damage. Oh, what's going with this? Yeah. Most indicators limb breaks hit very hard, but hers hit hard, but well, not as hard as everyone else, because hers are multi-hits, so they do less damage. She hits multiple times. But you can't really put any material on her because her main strength is her raw power. Tifa is more better in the game if you're trying to fight a super boss. Or at that point, like Ruby weapon or Emma weapon. Uh, at that point, Tifa would definitely have the power at that point where that could do a pretty good amount of damage for fighting them. I want to talk to you. This doesn't do enough damage, really. Maybe you, you can't even put any magic material on it because it was ruining her one good stat, which is strength. Anything? Oh. I need to take it. I thought I had another one. Hmm. I'll find one more. I don't need multiples of fire on my eyes or my Um, I really only need one of these, so. It's good to have multiple cures. My plan in this place play is I'm gonna go with a team of. Well, you have to have Cloud with you. Uh, can I buy the batteries from you now? Buy the batteries. Okay. Oh wait. Let's see. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Quickly check the armor, everyone. Uh, everything's good, I guess. Okay. Progressing the story. I was just saying. Um. All right. Climb up this way. Looks scary. Can we climb it. It is the upper world. All right, we'll climb the right wire. There's no way we can do this. You know how far it goes up. There's a way. Look, what's that look like? It's a normal wire. Oh yeah, well tell me. To me, it looks like a golden wire, golden shiny, shiny wire bulb. You're right. This is the only way to save errors. Oh, okay. But that was a bad touchy but bear I just you. Cue the awesome music now. Let's go. Yeah. No, save errors. <laughs> then just mercy boy. It's horrible. Hey, it's scary. Definitely that shit is doing. Oh yeah, uh, the team I'm gonna go with in this Let's Play is uh, Kate Sith, most definitely. I improved everyone; he's actually pretty good to use. 
Uh, let's play. Last time I acted a full let's play of Final Fantasy VII, many years ago, where I had case it to my team. By the end of the game, he was a complete powerhouse, just wrecking everything in one turn. Normally, ever, normally everybody's a pure mage. I don't want to do that. He said it's fun. He said, I guess I'll say, is probably my favorite character in this game. So weird and unique compared to everyone else. Now, I could go with Delicator on my team, along with Cloud, because he can't remove Cloud. I'm lost on Cloud, and Case case it was Vincent. Like, the only way to jump onto that bar should make it if I jump before it comes too close. Okay. Easy, but look how fast it goes. This part is very easy to mess up. Oh, I got it. The first time try. <laughs> most people, most people that play this game that is like the most aggravating part of the game. They're stuck trying to jump in that bar for hours if it's the first time playing the game. I know it gave me trouble trying to jump in the bar at the right time. Ooh, we're here. Yeah, I kind of place Tifa as like the bomb tier characters. Oh, one of the cool scenes you can actually see so Cloud with a sword out. Pretty cute, cool scene. Hey! Oh no, this building well! Not really. Now that I think about it, it's the first time I've ever been to the headquarters. I've been this, about this place before. Every floor above the 16th city floor is special and not easy to get yet to, even for employees. I should be where they took care of us. It's pretty, pretty light now. Alright, let's go. Hey, I think you're just going in right in the main place, are you? Oh, what else do we this look like? I'm gonna kick some Shinra butt and. It's not gonna work. We gotta find another way. There can be no other way if we keep wasting our time like this. Oh, that. I know that, but if we ca get caught here, we go. See? Just be careful, I'm in a different round. Okay. Now I'm from the most infamous scenes or parts of this game the dreaded stairs. Go climb the endless mountain of stairs. Yeah, get, get there. See, there's something on the court. All the way up. All the way. Okay, climb the stairs. And it's a really lot of stairs. Guess what? I'm going to talk about the whole um, character tier thing. Oh my god. What's Air. Claire just, keep, just keeps complaining about what time to climb the stairs. Um, yeah. Usually, I kind of rank Tifa at the bottom of all the characters. Um, like, I base the character's strength more on how good they are from start to finish. People will just use just. You can read the text if you want. I don't know, keep talking, this part takes forever. If usefulness wise, uh, Tifa is pretty weak at the very start. Both Cloud and Bear can do more damage with their than Ranks and her at the beginning. And Cloud's way more practical than her, which you can actually put. Magic material on Cloud, he won't suffer that much without how high his high power already is. Yeah, even in in the game, her ultimate weapon is pretty bad. One more than that. Can you get break, Barrett? Yeah, but I know this is I'm only fresh up, but um, don't you mean like I'm some ex-soldier or something? I 
about me? I mean, what do? Oh, do what you want. What's going on? Hmm. Ah, Barrett, you go first. What? You're ignorant? I didn't mean that. All right, all right. Cloud, you go on ahead too. Oh yeah. It's more of them complaining how all the building's too tall, there's too many stairs. Barrett's actually pretty good. The section of weapons you get later on in shops is kind of stupid. Because he goes from having a gun weapon to melee weapons throughout majority of this one, which is good for no one, because he's more of a range character in the physical. They ain't bad, because, oh, wait a minute. Bear is usually the first one to naturally hit the max amount of HP. Finally made it. Never, never want to see you. No more stairs was for life. Oh, I made it. But here we are. Let's get ready. Here we go. Fight time! Other characters game like Sid. Sid's oh, just awesome. Ooh, I got it. Really here. Like. As I said, it's probably one of the top, or at least, least, if not the best, physical attacking character in the game. Just so, so very, he has such very good damage. Like the moment he first game, he hits like a truck, and it's even harder than Cloud. And all the sizzling breaks just awesome. Murphur, the more and more high level limb breaks you get, the more awesome his limb breaks become. The more harder they hit, too. And he does ha he has a multi hit attack for his final attack, limb break. And it's one of the better ones, but the one of the best ones. Yeah! Red 13, I don't know. I haven't really used him much. I'm, actually, I never really ever used him like, in a serious let's play of. Or. Yeah, I never seriously ever really played with Red 13. The talking dog. But both him and another character named Yuffie have. The, their final limit break both hits only one time, but the sheer amount of damage of Yuffie's and Red 13's final limb break can usually hit 9,999 even in this one. Which usually... Yeah, what's this? Which... The sheer amount of damage both Yuffie's and Red 13's final limb break can do... I didn't want to do this. Oh. Can usually just... more damage than any multi-attack character in the game. I mean, Yuffie's and Red 13's final limb break are, is a guaranteed 9,099 hit at, in disc 2. Maybe not disc 1 when you first get them, but disc 2 you're definitely strong enough where that would do that much damage. The could be a cutscene. Dialogue. Um, this is the real thing. Don't let your guard go down. How oh, bears, all right? Cause I can't speed up the, cu the cutscenes. Uh. 
Okay, one of the more annoying parts. I'm still not sure what those things are supposed to be right there. Look at those, their character models are all so weird looking. <laughs> the golden guards running around. Go you're going to hit. Six, oh, Cloud, you're going to hit. Sing once. I'm going to save the move. Oh. I should be doing this with uh, double speed on. Three times speed. Three times speed make this seem a little impossible. I'll move too fast where I can't control what I'm doing. Even though I put in um, Clown Tifa's uh, attacks at first, if someone's doing a limit break, limit break will always override that. all their attacks that have been picked first before it. Back to the character hearing. Um, Kate said, "Look, here's I like actually very hair leaves in the team, other than Sid." Now, Kate said. All those people we should label him as the worst character in the game. Only because he doesn't have a limit and multi hitting limit break. His limit breaks are more game of chance and support based. His missile attacks suck, but. You just stuff him with. He's, he has a pretty good magic. If you just focus only magic with him, you're gonna be pretty good. Like. Well, awesome thing you can do is give him the. the manipulate materia. So that lets you uh, control monsters in the battle. Now, there's a chance it will fail, but. Kesef has a higher chance for manipulate the work. Oh. Ah! Look at that. I can't those guys down in the bottom of his bay. That's so bad this part. Kesef can become a probably powerful mage. By the point of the end of the game, when I had lots to play with Kitsif, he was just this completely out damaging cloud at the end of the game. It's weird. I'm sure the other one other I with me was Vince, Vincent, because I never used Vincent before. That'd be fun. But that would be fun with that randomness of. With uh, Vince's land breaks are pretty random. We never really know what you're gonna get with these attacks. It'd be kind of fun. I think instead of bringing him into the party, I'm gonna put Sid in his place instead. As you see. I'll do the deep. Okay, I'm gonna get it. You can just spam as he, he moves slower than I can. I still can't tell if those guys down there are supposed to be there. Are they like saluting? Are there, are there models just messed up? They're just so weird. I'm not sure with this let's play with Kate Sith. See, with Sid, his weapon is stronger the more MP you have on you still. So you kind of don't want to give him any 
magic material and yeah, all this. Ah, man. Like how I'm subscribed. I'll start the video again when I get. when I get to the other side.